Okay, we're here at the Fully Charged Show. Uh, behind me is some cool little electric golf carts. These are 100% made in Canada. $25,800, $28,000, $39,995, $40,000, $30,000. Did you have any questions about our vehicles? No, these are made in Canada, eh? Yeah, no canada. Right in Vernon. Everything from the ground up. Everything from the well, ground up well, made no in Vernon. Way. SC Carts is proudly Canadian. Every one of our vehicles is manufactured and carefully crafted in the heart of beautiful Okanagan Valley in Vernon, BC. Drive with confidence and knowledge, you're making Canadian jobs. Is this actually assembled in Canada? Yes. Because, like, it is on Alibaba. Mm hmm. Well, that's 4500 that. bucks. You guys manufacture them all in Vernon? Well, we work with a. With a uh, our uh, factory overseas, but we build everything there. Okay. Yeah. Assemble. Assemble it all in Canada then. Yeah. We work with the manufacturer over, um, so we have, we have a facility overseas, just like every other manufacturer. Oh yeah. Behind me I got the Peterbilt fully electric truck. I actually am actually pretty impressed with this thing. Out of all the electric trucks here at the show, this one is probably my favorite. It's got a 400 kilowatt hour battery pack. Ours has about 300 kilowatts, so they do have 100 kilowatt hours more than us. They use under the hood to place everything that we have in that PDU that's on the headache rack. They stuffed under the hood here. I think that's a neat place to put them, freeze up the headache rack. If you, if you don't have a range extender like we do, that's a nice little spot to put it. On the side here, these are the battery packs. One thing I really like about Peterbilt is that they have reinforced the hell out of these. Kind of like we did with that six inch channel. They put a bunch of square tubing, bunch of solid steel channels. Like, this thing is skookum. It's meant to take an impact, as it should be. You want to protect your batteries. By far, Peterbilt has the most protected battery packs, other than maybe ours. My favorite thing is how they ran their coolant lines. You do need to cool those electric motors like we do. They did a really, really nice, clean job running these coolant lines. The cable management in here is fantastic. I like how they ran their electric lines right down the middle with these nice little brackets. Personally, I would have put a little bit more protective sleeving over there, but that's still really, really nice. It looks really clean. Just all around a fantastic job with their cable management. I think we have a lot to learn looking up to Peterbilt where it comes to that kind of cable management. That is one of the areas we are weaker on and we're going to be improving on the next few trucks, but they've done this really incredibly well. I like that. One of the things I really, really like about this too, the charge in door. Built into this Skookum rub rail here, you got this solid steel door. That's solid, it feels great, I love that. That was well thought out, it's well protected as it should be. You can just tell that this Peterbilt truck, it's light duty, it definitely is, it's designed for light applications, but it's still built well for those light applications. I think the Peterbilt engineers on their electric truck probably are on point out of all of the electric trucks we've seen here today. One of the things I really like about Peterbilt is always their attention to detail. So Peterbilt has these blue stripes on their EVs. That's like the, how they show that they're EVs, I think. But they've continued that blue stripe onto the dash. It's the only Peterbilt I've seen with that blue stripe is their electric thing, and I just love how they continue that on. You get the little EV badge. Like, to think that level of detail of like, oh, we're doing blue striping, we better make custom blue striping in the dash. Well done. It's, it shows that it wasn't just an after throw, throwing on, they put some work into it. We got the blue dash in here. Oh, we do have a Jake brake selector switch in here though. So you still have your engine brake switch here. That's, I, I'm guessing it does regen, but they just haven't had an icon for regen yet. Oh, maybe nobody's designed a regen icon. Maybe we got to design what the regen icon looks like because we haven't either. It's just a switch. One thing I really, really don't like, the thermostat is set way too high. The cold is 60 degrees and the hot is 84 degrees. You would literally die in this truck if you set that temperature to 84 degrees. That's nearly boiling. Either that or they was made by a bunch of Americans that forgot that they're selling the truck in Canada. These things do have the Meridor axles and you can definitely tell that the electric axles from Meridor are definitely lower spec. These are much skinnier than our axles. Much, much skinnier, but it is a light duty truck. Overall, I'm really impressed with the Peterbilt. I think they've done a lot of things really, really great building this truck. From what I've seen in the first electric Peterbilt three, four years ago, they have come a very, very long way in terms of quality compared to all of the other electric trucks we've seen here, except for the Edison, obviously. Overall, 
I am really impressed by this Peterbilt electric truck. I think they have a really great attention to detail. They've got some high quality. They've made some very skookum parts. I'm impressed. Personally, the only thing I really don't like about it is the style. I think it would be a lot better if it was a 389 electric. Uh, you could put a lot more batteries under the hood. And I, I, just, I just don't like this style. But that's my only complaint and I feel like that's pretty good. <laughs> I'm looking at the, the Edison as the highlight of the show for me. I've seen pretty much everything around here, the inside and outside and whatnot. Um, this is a different market than anybody uh, has talked to me about, the logging market. I know about it uh, after working with John Deere on skidders and other logging uh, pieces of equipment, but never worked on uh, actually the, uh, the moving of the logs after they're uh, limbed and whatnot. And get them in, get them into the marketplace. So, I'm uh, I'm I'm pretty impressed. I think you did a great job. Thank and, you. Thank uh, you. And I I'm looking forward to uh, when your stock shows up. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Thanks again. Yeah. Thank you, Sandy. Thank you, Sandy. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey everyone, I'm Daniel. Uh, heard about Edison Online, love what they're doing, like the idea of taking practical vehicles and put, making them electric rather than just luxury cars. So uh, I heard that they named the truck Topsy uh, after an elephant which had an unfortunate end supposedly with Thomas Edison, we don't know. Uh, and I had some time in a 3D printer and somebody on uh, the YouTube comments said, hey, what if we had a hood ornament that was an elephant with lightning tusks uh, and I was bored so I made this, which is basically that. That is uh, so good. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know if they can see that well, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So I figured I'd bring it on down and uh, yeah, just drop it off because I uh, like watching you on, like what you're doing. What drew you to Edison Motors? What do you like about it? Uh, so my background's in manufacturing initially, and uh, not necessarily the engineering design, more like on the shop floor kind of thing. And I'm like so tired of everything with EVs just being like really like corporate and unapproachable and not practical and then I see people actually own the company who are working on the shop floor building the thing understand the practical aspects of stuff like put it in something that's not just getting people around a downtown city center which is great that's fine but there's a whole other world outside outside of the Silicon Valley areas that need sustainable vehicles so love seeing this grew up in the country like to see it come from a different side of the country nailed it buddy thank you yeah, yeah no worries this is a, dip, a gift from Dan Cook, given to you by Dan Barnes. Ooh. On the bottom there's a little note. Keep kicking ass, Topsy Dan Cook. Man, the electric tusks? Oh, he nailed man. that. He's like, I saw the YouTube comments, someone said an elephant with electric tusks. Like, if we're gonna go with something. That's the thing, that's, that's the thing. The Let's get this bad boy up there. Oh, baby. Nice. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Well, Dan Cook, thanks for the elephant. That's awesome. Uh, behind me, we got a yard shunt truck. Uh, so basically, this is designed. This one's for C-SPAN. So this is going to be taking basically trailers, putting them onto a barge, off a barge. This is one of those applications where I think a fully electric makes sense. It's working in just one terminal. Barge comes in, it unloads some trailers, and then it parks, can recharge, wait till another barge comes in, unload, reload some trailers. This is one of those great applications for fully electric. Quiet, quick, can move around, no gears. I kind of like that. For those of you not familiar with a yard shunt is, this fifth wheel plate picks up and down. So when you're moving that many trailers, you don't want to get out, crank that landing gear. So what you do is, you basically come in there, these ramps help pick the trailer up, comes in, this fifth wheel tra the fifth wheel lifts the whole trailer up, and then you move it, and on the back here, you'll notice the door is on the passenger side. Why you do that? You hop out of this truck, it's got a step, you can have your drive hands right here, bang, bang, moving the trailer, immediately back into the cab, moving the thing, lift the fifth wheel up and you're gone. These things are all about speed, all about efficiency, and electric will give you speed, efficiency, and torque. Check this out. This is a Tesla battery-powered jet boat. So, like how we did Carl, when we did their original truck, we put a bunch of Tesla batteries in it. They did the same thing here to a jet boat. How sweet is that? This is uh, Kirby. He is one of our original OG investors. Hey. What do you think about this thing? That's amazing. Like, 
honestly, seeing this thing in person is just like, it blew me away. Uh, the pictures are awesome, but seeing it up close and personal, just, yeah, it's more than I could have imagined it to be. It's crazy. Glad to be, glad to be a part of it. You guys, nice. you guys have done a wicked job. Kirby, you're one of the YouTube decision makers also? I am. That's right, a YouTube member. Yeah. And you drove over today from where? I came from Calgary on Wednesday, heading back today. Drove all the way to Calgary just to check the show out, yeah. the truck out at the show. Yeah, yeah and give us a hand setting up, yeah. cleaning. Yeah. He did, he was there for uh, unloading. Okay. Yeah, you know, Kirby, I almost feel bad because when we're like, we're like, oh man, we're going to need some help. Like, it's yeah. going to, it all went so smooth that Kirby smooth. was able to just sit in the back and relax and enjoy <laughs> yeah. the show. Well, it was good to meet you guys and hang out anyway. Do you want to follow Chase on TikTok, Car for and Motors? I just like the logging content. My whole family has come from loggers, road building, all that. So, trucking was a big part of my whole childhood. So when I saw him make it a track, I'm like, you know what, that's awesome. And the whole electric aspect of it, it's killer. You beat Tesla, you beat Nikola. So uh, just an awesome, awesome show to be put awesome uh, truck to be part of. I think it looks great. Um, I've been on projects. I understand the work that goes into it. And I mean, this is a truck. This is a truck that moves. This isn't a headache rack. It's not a, a generator connecting to an engine. Like we have a machine that actually works. Uh, first impressions, it's a badass machine. <laughs> it is big and it's mean. I especially like the cab, all the visibility when you sit down inside of it. I mean, I saw it from photos, but I hadn't sat in it. Um, I think it's super well executed. How do you feel about your guys? I, are you are you as proud of them as we are? I can't put into words the amount of pride I feel in my team. I mean, I, I'm Chase and everybody put in a lot of work here and I'm super proud of what Edison Motors did, but what Flo and my guys did, the hours they worked, the dedication they had for something that wasn't necessarily their company, uh, I, I'm beaming with pride. I really cannot thank Flo Drolic enough. I don't think this project would have been possible without their help at all. Flo Drolic has been just the perfect partners for this. I love you, but no, no, it's definitely, yeah, no, no. Not, it's definitely not possible without <laughs> Flo Drolic. So. This is a perfect partnership. It's, we built an amazing truck together. Yeah. We really, really have. Yeah, man. No, it's uh, it's an amazing thing. I see your vision and everything that's there, and I see like that flow hydraulic <laughs> tweak. Yeah, with little things like oh, maybe we actually need this, or maybe we should do that. Uh, I see, yeah, I see both of us in it, and it's, yeah, it's yours, but I see us in it. It, it, it is yeah. a partnership project. Yeah. Uh, amazing is. partnership. I'm Matt Anafi, one of the uh, directors of Edison Motors, and um, I'll show you standing here in front of the uh, Edison truck, and fully large, uh, fully charged, yeah. fully charged, fully charged. Through. Yeah, something it's, like that. It's the first time you've seen it in public. Yeah, it's the first time seeing this, and uh, outside of uh, some pictures and the group chats and, and videos on social media, I mean, this is this thing's crazy. Like, who wouldn't want to drive this thing, you know? And as a as a guy who owns trucks and equipment, you know. Looking at this and, and seeing what it brings to the table and brings to the industry, it's looking like a pretty big game changer to me. Why did you uh, become a director of Edison Motors? What do you? Why do you believe in this company? Well, I uh, followed Chase for quite a while over social media, and I seen what he was doing and and uh, you know the ideas he had, and and I was you know bringing and I was trying to compare them to, to my life, owning equipment and, and owning trucks, and I'm a big believer in what's going on here, and not only that, I mean, you go look at, at uh, a diesel locomotive, they haven't changed in what, 70, 80 years? There's a reason it works, and this is it. Hey, I'm John. Um, I, I came all the way up from Utah. I took a bus and a train and a plane to get here, so it's been quite the trip. But my favorite part about it is the truck, for sure. Did you just come up here to see, uh, were, were we uh, the inspiration you had to come up here or what? Oh yeah. Were you coming? Yeah, I didn't want to see anything else. I mean, it's all cool, but this is the reason why I came up. It's so much bigger than I thought it was. Like, I drive dump trucks in the States and this still just seems huge. It's just, it's super cool. It's definitely a lot more rugged than anything else here. It doesn't have the, the sleek lines of like the Rivian or anything else. Where did you find us? What social media platforms do you follow us on? From YouTube and Facebook. Nice. Both the ones that I started. I like that. My name's Alex. Uh, I didn't come from Utah. I'm local. Um, I don't own a company either, but I do drive trucks here in BC. I think between the Edison produced truck and the retrofit kits, they're going to have a pretty good market base. <laughs> My name is Prab. Uh, this is Rajan. We're both BC born and raised, um, both heavy equipment mechanics. Um, looking at this truck, it's proud to say that it's made in BC, it's designed in BC. Thanks, Chase, guys. Put BC on the map. 
Um, other than that, this truck's meant to be run off the road. It's it's meant to be in the lots. It's meant to be on the road. It's, it's not it's not something you show on a show with white floors. Found you on YouTube two months ago and binge watched everything right from the start till the latest one from right here. And uh, I just love this thing. It's everything about it is it, it's 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 it's, it's crowdfunded. It's organic. It's it's built on a third floor in merit. It's just. There's, what's not to love? And it looks nice and it's cool. I can say that's the reason I came down here was for this truck and and for Edison Motors. It's our Kipper. Where'd he go? Yeah. I'm Daryl Kolowatsky from uh, Spruce Grove, Alberta. Uh, been watching the uh, Edison build since actually since Carl on your YouTube and TikTok and following you guys on Facebook and. Uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big EV fan. I've got a fleet of Teslas myself that I run as taxis. So I don't see personally in the future many ways that we're going to need a hybrid other than this case. This is the only case that is not going to be in an oil field truck for a long time. It'll be this that'll be in an oil field truck rather than like a full battery truck is just going to be too far away. This is. This is going to be what's going to be running in Alberta bushes and pollen logs in, in BC and like everything that you guys envisioned is what this will be used for and I couldn't be more supportive behind it. It's going to be 20 years before it can be full battery and these this will be fantastic. My, my son's name's actually Edison, my three year old, so he's uh, that caught me as well. So. Great, great job, you guys. I'm, I'm gonna be more and, and being Canadians, BC from from Mary, you guys is great. I, I I couldn't support you more. My name is Brock Hargreaves. I I I like Edison Motors due to a number of things. One, they're a bunch of good old local boys, uh, a lot like the guys I grew up with in an industry that I've been a part of before, doing tree planting and tree fallings. Um, the way that this has been designed for ease of maintenance and longevity is phenomenal and it's something that I don't think anybody else has really done outside of any anything other than like extremely specific vocational industries. Uh, locally sourced parts, you know, parts lists. It's all designed to make it as easy as possible to keep this thing working for as long as possible. Keep it running nice and smooth. Uh, I think that the, the electric motors inside the differential is a genius way of doing it. Being able to power each axle individually like that is fantastic. It's an easy way to give yourself more power. It's easy, much more easy to access those things if you need to repair them or replace them for whatever reason. Uh, you know, things aren't hidden up, less moving parts. It's just, it's just it's great. Uh, the cabin itself is, I think, wonderfully thought out. Here you're sitting in the center, you can see over both tires, real easy. Got that seat on the side there just to make it, you know, if you do need to carry somebody, logging not so often, but, you know, because there's the option. Um, just the strength and durability, just all designed and focused on ease of usability, ease of maintenance, and longevity of life. I learned about the fully charged show specifically from uh, Edison Motors YouTube channel and Chase, Yak in a way. Uh, I've always been interested in uh, electric vehicles, but to see something like this that's homegrown, home designed, and designed so, so intelligently and so end user focused was a, a huge breath of fresh air. And <laughs> And uh, is probably the main reason why I came down to the show. My name is Jeff Finnegan. I'm from Kamloops. I've known the Edison Motor guys for about a year now. I met them at Hot Night in the City last year. Um, Theron's my workout partner, so we work out sometimes. And I thought I'd come to Vancouver and check out the truck. And it looks great. I'm a big fan of Edison Motors because I'm also a big Tesla fan. And like Edison, they, they ripped off Tesla's idea, so I think that's really cool. Um, and yeah, the Tesla Semi seems really cool, but I really like this truck. It looks very heavy duty and looks like it's ready to do some logging roads. I am Raz. Came from uh, Calgary just to check everything out here at Fully Charged and partially because I'm a big fan of uh, Edison Motors and what you guys have accomplished. Um, just, just love this thing. I love the ubiquity of the powertrain, how easy it is to just change out that 9 liter diesel for something else if you needed to or, you know, just, it's very powerful and basically solves a lot of problems for a lot of people, especially the further north you go. 
you know, I think it's intelligent and I like what you guys are doing. And we have talked before on text because you are a YouTube decision maker. I am one of those people. I, I, I give you guys money to be uh, part of the in crowd and I appreciate everything that I get to learn about Edison Motors and all the trials and tribulations you guys have been through trying to get this thing ready for the show. Uh, it's really cool and I know I'm only getting a glimpse of the hint of the top of the iceberg but but I realize that there is a lot going on behind the scenes that we don't catch on camera and that uh, that really a lot of work went into making this thing and that's really cool what was your first impression when you saw it in person man? Uh, I got goosebumps I'll tell you I, uh, I still get goosebumps I think it's amazing I think it's a big big hunk of steel and and it's menacing but in a really comforting way it's like I, I want this to save me you know what I mean I think you can do anything. I, I think that this would be an amazing uh, tow truck for larger vehicles. Like I think it could do anything, especially once you have tri drive. You know, thousand horse. You're not, you're not not towing anything with it. Like it'll do it. And I love that it's manufactured and built right here in Canada and made to last. Nothing else at this show is made to last, like Edison. I'm Eric uh, from Vancouver. Here, work with uh, Fisheries and Oceans, and found you guys on uh, YouTube. Yeah, just been following the journey trying to get it get it done for this show I'm super impressed you guys got it done it's a really ju funny juxtaposition seeing that big logging truck mixed with electric and that's what drew me in just looking at this especially with your old one with Carl there seeing a, a, a what do you call it a, Converted, I guess you yeah, converted retrofit. it from retrofit. That's it. Yeah, that's the word. Retrofitting an old truck like that is just super cool to to see. Um, that's what drew me in. But then what's really kept me going with the watching and uh, interest in it. Uh, me and my friends. I got some friends who are engineers. We've been talking about it. Just the the, uh, the concept makes so much sense. I think like having the diesel generator powering your battery pack, so you're not you know, having to plug this in every night and charge it all the way up. It seems to be a solution that's actually scalable and usable and, you know, given our electricity grid, what we have here. I don't understand why no one else here is doing this. Like, but I don't, you guys are the only ones doing it this way. It seems to be the way that it makes sense. Hey, you're Two Bit Da Vinci. I am. And uh, I appreciate your interview with Chase yesterday. What was your first impression? So first of all, that panel was like was a back-to-back -back session, and I didn't even have a chance to go to the restroom or anything. So it was like kind of overwhelming. But Chase was probably the coolest panelist I've had a chance to chat with. He is an absolute riot. Loved his hat. He had, you see his little hat. The that is the motor stealing Tesla's idea. That is our slogan. But I will tell you, that tr that truck is so impressive. And I saw the tent you guys were making it out of. What a thing. Tent Honestly. in the backyard on a gravel floor. So we will be coming out at some point to do a full in-depth review. Be ready, let's get some logs. I want to see that thing going downhill, regenerating. And uh, yeah, we'll come out. And we look forward to that. You bet. <laughs> right on, man. Cheers, good luck. You guys are just amazing stuff. Thank you. All the best.